Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Chris Braden. Um, I have the honor of representing a, a, a committed team at CDC. Um, and so, as a note, none of the work is my own. Uh, but those of, uh, of uh, committed team members at, at CDC, and I'll go over a number of things that you'll probably recognize given the work group updates and the country presentations. I wanted to start with some of the work that we're doing in countries uh, and with Haiti in particular because we were there um, at the earthquake even before cholera struck and certainly uh, thereafter with a lot of broad technical and financial support for the cholera response and preparedness activities at that time. And we supported uh, much of the clinical and laboratory training, the WASH implementation, health education, monitoring evaluations, OCV campaigns, and the epidemiology. Also, technical assistance in developing and implementing national cholera plans. Uh, in Haiti, you'll see that there's uh, three plans that have uh, been produced there, and we've been um, a technical partner in, in all of these plans. Uh, most recently, uh, the one that was presented uh, this spring. We've also been working in a number of other countries, including Kenya, in which we've provided three months of in-country support for their national plan development and hotspot identification. Uh, Tanzania, with two months of in-country support uh, for much of the same types of planning. And then Uganda, just starting with a meeting uh, with MOH and WHO for technical assistance for color planning, outward response, laboratory capacity, and water quality testing. Mozambique, uh, of course, had the, uh, their disaster uh, this year, and, and we uh, were there to supply, uh, supply support uh, to the Public Health Institute on Surveillance and Outbreak Investigation and Response there. Um, water quality monitoring in, in Bera and, and Pemba uh, districts. Uh, Post-distribution uh, monitoring of household water treatment products. Um, and then also in Zimbabwe uh, last fall, uh, support for uh, WASH rapid response teams. A, a few of, of the pillars here that we're supporting, starting with OCV, um, we engage with uh, the uh, uh, Global Task Force uh, on the OCV Working Group, in which uh, Kashmiro chairs that, that group. Um, and we have uh, done some OCV uh, research prioritization, OCV stockpile request review uh, for endemic use specifically. And then representation on the Gavi OCV subteam, I think, is very important to make that connection with what we're trying to achieve with the Global Task Force. And then technical guidelines for OCV wash integration. Um, uh, so uh, I think uh, that, that's, a, uh, as everybody has said, a, a very important part um, of national plans. We're doing monitoring evaluation of OCV campaigns. And um, you heard a, a little bit about uh, the campaign with the Rohingya refugees in, in Bangladesh. Um, also, the OCV campaign in, in Zimbabwe in October 2018. Uh, leading the coverage survey that's uh, been completed then. Um, and more recently in DRC with some of their campaigns um, with a uh, survey that's planned for their coverage uh, that uh, is uh, going to be this month. And then research activities um, talking about integration, uh, looking at uh, oral polio vaccine and OCV co-administration uh, as a research topic. On the WASH side, uh, certainly a lot of color prevention and response uh, in that sector. Uh, for instance, uh, the bucket chlorination in the Rohingya camps in Bangladesh, inline uh, chlorination evaluation in Zimbabwe, and water quality mo mo monitoring following the cyclones um, in southern Africa. Engagement uh, with the uh, Global Task Force and, and WASH work groups, uh, including the investment case, uh, WASH research prioritization and WASH capacity building, and then financial support um, for the WASH work group. And then finally, ending up with training, we, we're certainly, um, this is a sector we, we work in a lot with field epidemiology training for WASH responders. Um, and then uh, the, uh, for the uh, rapid response uh, teams uh, doing the response uh, training there. Um, especially in, in Yemen. I'll stop there and, and um, well, with one other, sorry, last slide. Uh, the CDC laboratory uh, uh, work group has been uh, very 
uh, active, as you heard uh, earlier this morning, uh, where we have uh, activities both in environmental laboratory um, uh, activities and with public health laboratory activities uh, to uh, help in uh, much of the planning uh, for both of those aspects. Thank you very much.